All right, everyone, I have been asked this question by a few people, not really on my channel, but in person. Is there the perfect vacuum? Is there a vacuum that does everything well? Answer is no. There is no perfect vacuum. You will always be trading something for something else. So what is the best vacuum? Well, I have some of them here. One of the best budget vacuums would be something from Hoover. It has a brush roll shut off. It has multi-cyclonic technology. At least this model does. I don't think the bin is on here, right? No, it's not. It's sitting loose. Need to wrap up the cord. Just never got around to that. Since this cord just takes so long to wrap up. But as I just said, there is no such thing as the perfect vacuum. It just doesn't exist. Maybe you're asking me, maybe like a Miele or a Kirby. Not even those are perfect. Trust me. Miele's, there's a few things Miele's lack. Their canisters has plenty of airflow. But canisters aren't really designed for carpet. They're designed for all around cleaning. But even the big Miele with, Miele's with the canister and, like, and with the powered brushes. <laughs> excuse me are not that great. You could get a much better performing all around vacuum in an upright for much cheaper. Miele uprights I don't really recommend because of the, they don't really have enough brush roll power. On thick carpet, getting dirt from the bottom to the top of the carpet requires a powerful brush roll. All three vacuums in this line have a powerful brush roll. The Sanitaire, the Hoover, and the Dyson, they all three share a powerful brush roll. The Sanitaire, is by far the best vacuum for carpet. Oh, stupid phone. Um, by far the best vacuum for carpet. You can't really get anything better. When it comes to airflow, this basically destroys everything else. It has like the airflow of a shop vac, but with a powered brush. Just the disadvantages. So this would be the best vacuum for carpet. Disadvantages are it only works on carpet. You cannot use it on anything else. It has no hose. You can't use it on hard floors. It is direct air, so you can't vacuum up like nails or anything with it. Because if you vacuum a nail into this, it's just going to fall into the bin. Vacuum a nail into this, you're going to break your fan. It has a very long cord. It's also very heavy. About 20 pounds. So, with the sacrifice of that incredible carpet cleaning, you will be sacrificing anything else besides carpet. With the Hoover wind tunnel, it has great carpet performance, pretty good cyclonic filtration. It has HEPA filtration, as it says right here, but I don't think it's sealed HEPA filtration. So, for if you're an allergy sufferer, I wouldn't go for this. Yes, it has HEPA filtration, but I don't think it's sealed. So, if you have really bad allergies, there's very few vacuums I could recommend for bad allergy sufferers. Only ones that are asthma allergy certified, nothing else. And that would be Dyson's and a few like commercial uprights. But the Hoover, it's a pretty good option. It has nice washable filter. Uh, this one's washable. You can't wash the HEPA filter. It has a brush roll shut off. But the one thing it does sacrifice is it doesn't really clean hard floors that well. It kind of tends to push big particles, and it can't really pick up sand off hard floors very well. It's not a good hard floor performer. Now, the best all-around vacuum for everything, I have to say, is going to be the Dyson Mall Multi 4 2. It has incredible agitation, pretty good airflow at about, in almost, I can, I've seen people's tests measuring this at almost 80 CFM at the nozzle, which is, very powerful. It has a good, easy to access hose. I just can't get to it because the cord is on here. A good attachment package out of the box. You can get tangle free turbo tools. You can even find those at thrift stores sometimes. Upholstery tool is fine. It's all right. The crevice tool is by far the best crevice tool in existence. I have not used a better crevice tool than this one. Number one, it has a nice dusting brush attached to it. It's very long, probably about a foot. It has these airflow holes here, here, and on the front that also serves as the lock for the brush. But 
and it's not completely flat, so if you put it against a flat surface, there's still airflow can get in through the front, so you're not bogging down the motor while vacuuming in the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. The best filtration in bagless and mostly bagged, um, it has asthma allergy certified, which means you're getting the cleanest air exhausted out of this vacuum. The Cyclones work very well, and I only use Dysons really as my daily drivers because of that filtration. With a lot of these vacuums, when I turn on the a vacuum that is not sealed and I use it for a bit, my Dyson Pure Cool fan will go crazy. It will turn up and it will show a decrease in air quality as the filter or as the vacuum sprays dust. But with the Dyson, it doesn't do that. A really good budget option, option is also the Hoover React. That performs sort of like a Dyson. It sort of feels like a Dyson in use. It just doesn't have the Dyson feel to it. This is by far my favorite all-around vacuum. Nothing else gets close. When it comes to carpet, its agitation is better. Hard floors, it's great. Nothing else edge cleans better. It's very easy to steer. By far the most maneuverable vacuum in my collection. I do not have a vacuum that can do what this Dyson is doing right now. So if I'm running against something, I can run this under and get under a cabinet. No other upright I have can do that. It's single only disadvantage would be is it's not as low profile as some other vacuums. It doesn't recline all the way because the wheels are back here. But in every other respect, besides the hose handle, it's not that great. <clears throat> but it's pretty similar to this one and most other. So, everything except for the ball, pretty much the hose isn't really, the hose handle is similar to everything else. But except for like having such a high nozzle, but there is a very big reason why the motor is up here. On most vacuums, pretty much all besides the Dyson, the belt has to be somewhere. The belt is right here. Either you're going to be skipping a line where the belt is, which is all right. You can overlap something here, but the belt here blocks airflow. Airflow cannot get through this. You are stopped here. So you basically... This area, though it has a brush, <clears throat> airflow cannot, this is too thin of a channel and dirt will just spin around in here and it has a trouble making its way into the air path, especially because it's pretty off center. All vacuums like this, even Mila's, not their canisters, but their uprights have that issue. Or you can do another design. You can put the belt on the side. That works of course but you're sacrificing your edge cleaning the brushes don't even angle out so you're getting over an inch of room between brush and wall this airflow channel isn't very big <clears throat> and there's no guide this is just a flat surface <coughs> excuse me there is an airflow channel right here. The fact that there's not really one much included on this side kind of bugs me. This canister, Mila, is a good all around, but as your carpet and vacuum does not make a recommendation for a carpet vacuum. Basically, a canister vacuum that you got for carpet, just don't get a canister vacuum for carpet in the first place. So the motor is on top of the head on the Dyson for one major reason. They're getting the motor out of the way. Motor is up here because it's not gonna affect edge cleaning and it's gonna allow airflow to be able to reach all across. I would sacrifice not being able to go under all my furniture to get better edge cleaning and I have to go over my house with a crevice tool just to get dirt off the wall. So this definitely takes top tier for edge cleaning. It also agitates better than any other vacuum, except for maybe like a sanitaire or something. 
But again, this can only be used on carpet. So overall, the Dyson Ball Multi Floor 2 wins for me as the best all-around vacuum. I can't really find anything better. I've used Mila's before. Of course, I have several of them. Hoover, Bissell, um, Shark, anything else I've used. This wins for the best overall upright vacuum. It's not perfect, but it's really good. And has the best of all worlds. Has the best carpet cleaning, the best hard floor cleaning, the best filtration. Has a nice hose, comes with decent attachment packages. And you can even this pick this guy up on sale for as low as $250. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Dyson Ball Multi Floor 2. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.